An intramuscular or IM injection is a shot given into the muscles. Certain medications need to be given into the muscle for them to work correctly. The first step in preparing to give an intramuscular injection is to make sure you have all of your supplies needed and ready. Your kit should contain syringes, alcohol swabs, and needles. Depending on whether your solution is an oil or aqueous based medicine, you may have different size gauges of needles. But they are usually always one inch in length in order to get the medication into the muscle. Syringes also come in different sizes, so make sure you know how much medication you are to draw up with each dose. The label that has your name on it will tell you the exact amount of medication you are to draw up with each dose, how often, and where to inject it. In this video, we are going to show you the steps for an intramuscular injection. Always make sure you check the beyond use date on your medication. If today's date is beyond that date, or it has been 28 days since you first punctured, punctured the vial, you should call us for a refill. Also, check the medication inside that it is not cloudy and does not contain any particulates. Always wash your hands prior to getting ready for the injection. You can wear gloves to give the injection, and some people prefer to have a bandage open to cover the injection area once complete. To prepare the vial, remove the tamper evidence seal that is on top of the vial. This can be discarded or placed back on top after use, but it does not aid in the sterility of the vial. At this point, open one alcohol swab and use it to swipe the top of the vial. You want to do this before each injection so as to sterilize the top of the stopper. Let the side air dry and do not touch the top of the vial with your fingers. Use a second clean alcohol swab to clean off the exact area on the body to be injected. Let that area air dry. Just for example, you would clean off the site where you're putting your intramuscular injection. Assemble your needle and syringe by opening each of the packagings trying to avoid touching much of the separate pieces. For oil injections, you will want to put a large bore needle since the oil is thick. We use an 18 gauge needle to draw up the medication. You can change this needle later once you inject into the muscle. For aqueous injections, you can use a smaller bore or larger gauge needle to both draw up and inject the medication. I'm gonna use a smaller gauge needle this time to draw up the medication to show how to change the needle if needed once you go to inject. So without touching the colored part or the top of the syringe, you would just screw the needle onto the syringe like this and that way it stays sterile. Be careful not to touch the colored part of the needle or the tip of the open syringe. Once assembled, it should look like this. The three parts of the syringe are the needle, the barrel, and the plunger. The needle is the part that goes into the muscle. The barrel holds the medication and is marked in milliliters and the plunger is used to move the medication into and out of the syringe. You will want to prepare your syringe with medication by first drawing back an equivalent amount of air into the syringe as to what your dose states. This will help differentiate the pressure in the vial once you draw the medication up. In this case, let's use one milliliter. The top black line of the plunger is where you will line up with your dose. So the top of the plunger here, we pulled back to one milliliter of air. Once you've drawn back one milliliter of air, remove the cap of the needle and set it aside. 
with the bevel of the needle or the angled side facing up. Proceed to insert the needle through the rubber stopper in the top of the vial. Invert the vial, inject the air into the vial, and draw back your dose. Always make sure the tip of the needle is below the surface of the medication so you don't get any air bubbles. If you do get air bubbles in your syringe, you can push the medication back into the vial and redraw back out. Once you get your dose where the top of the plunger is at the line that you need, Remove the syringe from the stopper and set your medication aside. At this point, if you're using an oil injection, you will want to switch your needle to a smaller gauge needle for injection into the muscle. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're gonna open a, uh, a larger gauge needle. We're gonna use a 25 gauge to inject with. We used an 18 to pull out for an oil injection. So again, do not touch the colored part of the needle. You'll wanna screw off the previous needle and go into your new needle. And you can set those pieces aside. At this point, you're ready to inject into your previously clean site in the muscle. Please watch the video entitled Intramuscular Injections, Injection Site to proceed in giving the intramuscular injection. As always, please contact us if you have any questions about how to draw up an intramuscular injection.